All right, so moving right along here, um, let's go into another feature that I think I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, uh, STI includes a toolless guide rod, which is very easy to use. That's a nice feature. I believe that's around a $70 guide rod. It basically, uh, you can uh, you, know, you disassemble the pistol, you, 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 you push a little lever in, and you can pull the spring the guide rod out as a unit. Makes it a little easier for disassembly. It's a nice feature. Um, but overall, you know, very nice gun for the money. Can't complain. Um, STI does, which I think they do on all their pistols, but they polish the feed ramp here a little bit to a mirror finish. There is some lubrication on there right now, so it's a little bit dirty. But, uh, you know, I just cleaned this, I believe, after a match. So, probably a little oil residue. But, uh, the, like I said, this gun's run great. Can't say enough about it. It's very fun to shoot. It's a, uh, it's a, it's an attention getter if you if you like going to a gun range or something like that, and uh, you're going to get a lot of questions about the gun and what it is, and you know it kind of gets the oohs and the ahs, so people know it when they see it. That's a very nice pistol. Um, I'm going to get a little more here now into uh, the magazines of the pistol that they include. When you purchase one of these uh, STIs, you get uh, the nice benefit of the new style STI. Uh, magazine. STI used to manufacture their own magazines. Uh, they were very tough. Uh, some people, uh, uh, you know, th they would tune them to get them to work perfectly. Some people complained that they were they had issues. The new magazines, I will say, just from looking at them, they look like they're more consistent in their quality and manufacture when they're stamped. I don't. I think STI is hiring this uh, this magazine manufacturing out these days. So. I believe Checkmate is the one manufacturing, but don't quote me on it. The new magazine. The two magazines they include, if you're in a free state, are 18-round factory STI mags. So you can see they're kind of a kind of polished, look like they've been in one of those uh stainless uh pin vats where they where they sit there and polish them in a big vat of uh material. Anyhow, it's the full 141 millimeter or 140 millimeter length for uh, USPSA. Uh, so far, the only uh, modifications that are out there that I found that work are um, to add, uh, you know, capacity is the Terran Tactical base plate. I added to one. Uh, Terran's follower did not work with the 40 his new style follower, but I was able to bend his spring and get it working with the factory follower and I can fit a reloadable 19 in the Terran magazine, in the Terran modified magazine. Like I said, his follower doesn't work, um, at least from my experience. So disclaimer there, none of them worked in my forties. They did work in the nine millimeter version of the mag, but that's another story. Okay, so, um, like I said, the factory is a, is a reliable 18 reloadable. The Terran is a uh, adding the base plate, the Terran spring, or if you just want to keep the regular spring, it's going to be 19 reloadable. You might be able to figure out 20 in there, I'm sure, if it wears in or you want to cut a coil or two or, or adjust the follower yourself, but uh, that's on you to tune that. Um, go on, going a little deeper here into magazines, I uh, purchased a couple of the MBX magazines for the pistol. And I'll tell you what, for an out-of-the-box magazine, comes with your base plate, spring, the follower as a package, and of course, the magazine body. So you get the complete magazine. They are, they are kind of expensive, but you kind of get what you pay for. They hold 20 from the factory from MBX and they're reloadable at 20 so you can you can slap it in the gun it's not going to fall back out with 20 rounds in it some people get 21 um, these do not activate the slide release which I don't mind because uh, uh, I, I don't plan to go into slide lock when I shoot with uh, starting out with 21 rounds I'm going to reload before I get there rough usually at 19 or 20 so or maybe even 18 but uh, anyways the MBX the MBX mag has been perfect. Uh, the factory mag has been generally perfect. Uh, and then, of course, the Terran uh, spring and factory follower Terran base plate has been perfect. 
So, like I said, there, there's some good magazine options out there. I use all three of these in matches. Uh, don't I don't hesitate to use either one. Kind of my primary one is MBX, but uh, and then kind of the secondary is are the Terrans. They hold about 19. Like I said, the MBX is going to be 20. Start out with 21 on the gun. Uh, so th there, that's kind of that on shooting matches with the pistol, uh, having your magazine set up. If you're going to shoot limited, I definitely have at least four or five uh, magazines if you're going to go to a match and shoot limited. So if you know you you can, your gun's going to come with two. I'd go ahead and get a couple MBXs on the way, the 140s. Uh, but anyways, th that's that. Um, anyhow, so if you have any questions about this pistol. Uh, please uh, put them in the comments uh, or any any concerns. Uh, another uh, small thing here I probably uh, forgot to mention was that uh, this gun, the new style STIs are flat topped. If you see, they kind of take some meat out of the top, which helps the older style edges uh, uh, were round top. So that's a nice feature that they go ahead and mill off. Uh, and make the top of the slide flat. I I like the way it looks. I wouldn't mind if it was tri-topped even, but it's 